Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to look at Create Llama, which is a command line tool to create Llama index apps. If you don't uh, know what Llama index is, it is an orchestration framework that helps you build LLM powered applications. Now, there are a lot of alternatives of Llama index. Uh, for example, Langchain being one of their uh, competitor when it comes to orchestration frameworks. We have Haystack, we have Semantic Kernel, we have Grip Tape, etc. as well. Now, uh, you can see that Create Llama is available as uh, here, as we can see it on NPM, which is Node Package Manager. And uh, we're going to use this today in this video to build a very simple and very fast prototypes of RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation. Now, it helps you build uh, POCs faster and it also uh, uh, is very good in, in a way that you do not have to write a hell lot of code because you might not be an AI engineer or a data scientist, right? In that case, if you do not really understand and if, it's, if you think that there are so many things going on, you can use this to build a fast POC or a demo application for your clients or even as a side project or something like that. Now, to start building the application with Llama index, you need a node installed in your system. I already have that installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this app demo folder. And in this, I'm going to open in terminal. And I'm just going to use something called NPX, which helps me create a, uh, an application. And I'm just going to do create Llama. Now, once I hit npx create llama, if you don't have npx install, you can install that through uh, npm. Now it says, what is your project name? And it suggests you that how you can give a name. So I'm just gonna call it a uh, rag app or something, okay? And then I'm gonna hit enter. The next question that it asks, as, as we all know, that's a CLI based tool. So it's command line based tool where everything will happen within terminal uh, when it comes to configuration, etc. Now it says, which template would you like to use chat without streaming or chat with streaming? So let's click chat with streaming, which is by default. The next question is which framework would you like to use? Uh, and you can see there are three different options which are available. The one is Next.js, which is by default uh, choice. And the other is Express, which fuels your node applications. And the other is Fast API, which is a Python based backend uh, library to build microservices, APIs, etc. Now, for this video, I'm going to rely on Next.js because this can also help us deploy an you know, application on Vercel and some other services. So let's click on Next.js. It says which UI would you like to use? So you can have a couple of UI options you see here. One is just HTML, the other is sad CN. So I'm just gonna go ahead with just HTML. This is important now. It says which chat engine would you like to use? So you can have a context chat engine. You can also have a simple chat engine. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead with context chat engine, which is mainly where you will have your knowledge base that you want to create, you know, in a, in a, in a n dimensional space, which is nothing but your vector database in that case. So here you will create embeddings of your text that will get extracted from set of documents or a single document, whatever. So basically the LLM will infer a response from a context. And that's what we're going to do in this case. So let's click on context chat engine. Now it says, Please provide your OpenAI API key. So I already have an OpenAI API key here that I'm going to delete after this video. Now there are a few ways that you can do this. You can also do either set or export depending on which operating system you are using to set this in the environment that you are in right earlier. Now I'm just going to hit enter here. I'm going to say yes. Now, once you do that, it will start installing uh, some dependencies and some dev dependencies over here. Now it will... What it will do, I will create a folder. You can see it says creating a new Llama index app in this uh, directory. I'm just going to hit uh, a refresh here and you'll see a folder called rag app. Now, if you look at rag app and we will open this uh, in a bit in VS code, uh, once it gets completed, you can see it's uh, installing all the required dependencies, etc. And you can find it out in package JSON over here. Now, if you look at it, it has some folders, some subfolders like API component because it's a Next.js based application that we are building. You can find out the UI, the header, the chat sections, etc. Right? You can make it all the changes. 
and here is all your in uh, engine the stream the llama index the route etc everything is over there if you want to make some changes in the code you can also do that in the public you can see the uh, icon there which will be used on the web app okay now we have to go cd inside this we'll just do that and you can see it's almost completed so let's wait for it and the good thing about uh, create llama is that it's also easy to deploy when you use uh, uh, a next best application now if you see uh, it says uh, generating storage context but right now it has nothing in the storage context no valid data found at path something like that right there's no vector database that uh, the basically the embeddings which are stored in a vector store right so it's all in memory uh, nothing get uh, like but you can do it through mongos and all which i think they have some integration uh, there but let's cd into rag app and i'm just going to do code dot and once i do code dot you will see i have my vs code open now we'll find out a folder called data you know and in this data we're going to put our uh, document for that we are going to uh, use that for rag you know information retrieval you can find out test and uh, uh, data so let's go ahead and look at that so let me just do a refresh here let me just delete this uh, document first i'm just going to delete this because i'm not going to rely on this document and if you look at test in test also it has something called version space uh, let's let me so you so here also you just delete that so i'm just going to delete this and what i'm going to do now is in both the folders i'm going to keep my file okay so let me just uh, minimize this and i will have a document in download uh, that's called uh, where is that folder i think i have something called var okay you can see that i have a folder called var handbook i'm going to copy this and paste it over here in the app demo and inside rag app inside data this is i'm going to paste it and then i also want to paste it in this test data as well now what is this document all about let me just show you quickly it's a, it's called video assistant referee so if you are a fan of football across the globe you would have seen that uh, now fifa also you just hit a lot of different franchise based football like for example premier league in the uk they also use var which is video assistant referee where they have a set up team which looks at uh, some decisions that they make if the on field referee or even vr can also make decisions on their own if they find out something uh, wrong going on like for example some penalties etc right so you see sets conducting live experiment with video assistant for clear errors in match changing situations now vr is it by the way uh, if you ask to a lot of football fans they don't like vr including me but that's what it is right it has been used in a lot of competitions like uh, world cup etc now uh, so this is the document that we're going to use it's a, a var manual now imagine the use case can be there can be multiple use cases right the one of the use cases can be you know if the uh, if there is any training going to be happen uh, for a var uh, uh, new joiners etc you know they can interact with the conversational interface that we're going to build using create llama and they can retrieve some information using this tool so it can help you in training modules recommendation it can also help you retrieve information faster so for example if you have questions like uh, var information to broadcaster it, okay this is not a question by the way these are just set of information uh, let me see if we have some question you can see can a decision be changed after play has restarted right so this kind of question that you can retrieve for the information what happens if the var identifies a clear mistake in a match changing incident after the referee has blown the whistle for half time or full time and you can find it out over here right that uh, var has now enough power to change the uh, uh, change the game entirely right so this is a document that we're going to use you can use any other document we have built a lot of rags on our youtube channel medical chatbot veterinary chatbot insurance chatbots sustainability chatbot climate change chatbot etc etc we also build legal chatbot sometime now for this we're gonna we're gonna build a var kind of a chatbot a var information retrieval tool uh, using create llama so now let's start building it i have a single document but you can have multiple document as well now once you uh, 
I have your data ready. What you have to do is you have to generate right the vector store. So for that you want to keep uh, you want to run this npm run generate. You can see it says running npm run generate to generate the context data. Now let's just hit that npm run generate, and now you can start generating the storage context. Now we are using llama index in the backend, and that's why it says storage context. If you are using Langchain, you will see different words for uh, this kind of thing, right? So there are different terminologies altogether. That depends on what kind of orchestration framework that you are using now this will take a minute or two depending on uh, data for like one file it will probably take a minute but if you have set up documents uh, that might take a bit of time right it can go up to minutes you know uh, depending on how big your data corpus is so let's wait for uh, a moment uh, hopefully it will get done now once it once it is done generating the storage context, you just have to run the development one, which is npm run dev. And once you do that, uh, you can see it says uh, finish generating the storage. Now let's just do npm run dev here. So what I'm going to do is npm run dev. And let me show you before we go and run it. So if you look at here in the cache, in the cache also you can find out doc store json index store json and vector store json so in vector store you have your embedding dictionary and all of those set of numerical representation of your vectors the embeddings okay and you can find out the index store over here which contains your metadata etc as well you can find out here uh, uh, LLM metadata keys and all a very standard way of building an information retrieval uh, system now then you hit npm run dev and once you hit the npm run dev what it does is it's you can just redirect it, you can just redirect it to localhost 3000 or you can also open localhost 3000 once the compilation is done so uh, it will compile it will load the favicon etc whatever it has to load and then you can go to this port uh, in the browser which is localhost 3000 okay now uh, let me just open my google uh, browser here chrome uh localhost 3000 let's wait for it you can see it says compiling page will take a few more seconds and you can find out your uh app here it says built by llama index you know they have their logo which is completely fine you can completely change it you have this in public you can change this write-ups you can change this you know and you can change the entire ui if you want but this looks slick by the way you know this looks good now I can ask is uh, for example what is var or something you know let's ask this kind of question for the first time it will take a bit of time you know to retrieve the information but for the second time onward you know it is faster you can see it says var stands for video assistant referee it's streaming responses guys you know it gives you a very human like response which is concise in the uh, response it says VR stand for video assistant referee. It is a technology used in football matches to assist the referee in making decisions, blah, blah, blah. And you can find out that uh, answer is right. Now let's uh, uh, go here in the data thingy. Let's open the file, uh, by the way, and uh, let's see if we can ask some questions. Uh, how is review? Let me ask this question. Okay. How is review? Uh, how is a review communicated by the referee? I'm asking this question. Now let's see if it generates the response from the document or oh wow, it generates the response from the document. You can open the port and see it's running here and you can find out uh, the response and you can see the response. It says when a review is requested by the referee directly or following information from the VAR, the referee will clearly indicate the review process, which is what we see it over here. Now this is fantastic so far. Let me ask the question and see if it gives me answers outside of the context from the base knowledge of OpenAI model that we are using, which is GPT 3.5 Turbo. Uh, uh, who is, uh, what would we ask guys? Who is Donald Trump, for example? Is it Trump 2024? Let me know in the comment box. Now, here I'm asking who is Donald Trump and let's see that what answer I get here. It says Donald Trump is a businessman and politician who served at the 45 45th president now what it means guys if you want to use the same as it is create llama it's not for your business good for hobby projects right because then you have to customize this you have to set a prompt template in a better way you have to restrict the con uh, llm to only give the response from the context and uh, if you go here in the app 
in the API thingy. Uh, in the engine, you can find out you have generate that generate it has a uh, lot of things going on. You can see the uh, context, chunk size, etc., etc. So uh, if you want to make some changes, you can see the data cache for storage, etc. is here. If you look at index TS, which import all the modules, it also imports the LLM. You know, it has service context from Llama index, etc. going on. So what I'm trying to say is, if you just use this uh, in production, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's you have to make a lot of changes. To be honest, you have to. Uh, you should know how to write code in TypeScript, the JavaScript, and then you have to work on better prompt template and all of those things right over here in the code now this is good at least it's retrieving information let's ask a tough question and see can we ask a question related to uh, let me see if it can gives a derived response uh, let me see that okay what kind of questions i can ask uh, Let's see. I want to ask a tough question. Let me ask this question. Best practice communication. What are the best practices? Let's see if it can synthesize the response, you know, from a derivation of context. Okay. Uh, practices. What are the best practices of VAR? Okay. Now I'm asking this question. What are the best practices of VAR? And it says the best practices of VAR include clear and consistent communication. VAR should maintain effective communication with referee. Blah, blah, blah. It gives you three, four uh, responses. Huh. Okay. It gives you, it is giving good result by the way. So it, this is very good, you know, uh, to be honest, when you want to build an app faster without writing a single line of code. If you are not an AI engineer or data scientist or machine learning engineer, and if you are really in a hurry, you know, to build a application, then I will recommend this, but I will still recommend that you go and learn the fundamentals, which is really going to help you in the long run. But this is amazing, right? Uh, because it helps you build app faster if you have a client demo or presentation to so you can just leverage this to show some capabilities so for those kind of use cases is really good but if you saw what i asked what is who is donald trump it's giving you answer out of context as well now you can control that you have to see or do a bit of research but i think that that is doable now this is what create uh, llama is guys it's kind of a command line tool i wanted to you know create this video because there are there were a few requests and suggestions as well that I should look at this tool and uh, create and give my uh, feedback on this. I like this tool uh, to be honest, but you should not depend on this uh, really uh, in production and such because it's not only about building a rag guys. It's really easy and you, you, you can see how easy it is. But if you really work in regulatory industry, you cannot give wrong responses or you cannot, uh, there is no scope or there is no way you can you know, uh, uh, build a system that really hallucinating a lot in regulatory industry like insurance or FS, for example, financial services. Now, for that, you have to build a better rag. How do you build a better rag? I have a few videos on building a better rag through re-ranking features, through LOTR, the lot of the retriever, the merge ranker, which is the same. Then you have, you know, better prompt uh, query tools and the prompt expansion, etc. So there are different ways you can build a uh, better rag like Heidi and multi query retriever. That's what open AI was showing in their depth days, right? So I'm going to create a video on that in detail as well. But for this, this is good for the beginners. And if you want to build an application faster to, to show some capabilities, that's all for this video, guys. Uh, if you like the video, please hit the like icon. If you like the content I'm creating, you know, please uh, subscribe the channel. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet. Please do share the video and channel with your friends and to peer. If you have any thoughts, feedbacks, please let me know in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.